Hi guys, welcome back to another market breakdown video. And then on today's video, we are looking at VEX25 index on the daily chart. And then first things first, if you look left and look at the overall trend is to the downside. As you can see, we have higher lows and lower lows. And then around this area here, just because we focus on the current market structure, as you can see, we broke structure around this area. If you're trying to employ like smart money concept in your trading, you can see that we broke structure around this point. And then this is the last candle that broke structure of which this is our order block around this area here for us to look for continuations to the downside just because the price action is still intact. As you can see, we are still moving in a downtrend. So I'll just remove each and everything and then just get to the uh, Falcon trading style. And then you have this high area around here and then we have the highest high around this area then we have the slow point here mind you we are focusing on this push to the downside corrective move push to the downside so this could be the corrective move to reach the double top area or the other block for us to get like those ceiling opportunities up until the 90 percent or a create a new low so let me just remove all these things so now we are just going to focus like on this current market structure around this point here. As you can see, we have some type of an ascending channel. We have two touches at the bottom. And then I think we have two touches at the top like this. And then I'll just refine everything on the lower time frame. As you can see here, we have this touch, this touch here, this touch. And then we have this as our middle section. And then we have the last push to the upside to create the third touch and then sell off. Or initially, we can have the double top, creating that mass psychology activation that we look, we look to uh, see each and every time we take like an entry. So let's move to a four hour time frame. And then let's just see what happens on the four hour. So we are on the four hour time frame. And then what I'll do, that, what I'll do is that I'll just... Uh, refine each and everything that I'm seeing around uh, this type of analysis. And then initially what I look at is the uh, nature of the market or how the market is moving like in this uh, area here. So as you can see, we have uh, been pushing very correctively. We have this push up, corrective move, push up, and then this could be the corrective move. So we are moving very structurally to that, that touch area of which is a good thing. And then what I'll do is that I'll make sure that I'm catering for the overall touches just like this. So we have some type of an expanding ascending channel around this area here. So uh, let's look at the hour chart and then let me just draw this out here just to make sure that I'm looking at like the current structures. So this could be the ascending channel that we are working with around this area here, like this. And then on the hour chart, that is where we look for the entries. So we are on the hour, and then as I said, we are moving structurally to the third touch area or that uh, my psychology area. So what I'll do is that I'll have this type of price action going on. And then remember what I said, we look for selling opportunities in right areas, and then of which this is the right area for us to look for selling opportunities. So it will be in line with this ascending channel, just like this. And then if I draw out like the overall uh, forecast, this is what I'll be looking for on this one. Let's say we push back to the downside and then we move back to this area. So initially what I'll be looking for is for the market to tap this area in form of a mass psychology activation. And then we push back to the downside and then within this area here, that is where we can get that, that first tight flag, six to eight hours. And then as I always say, it should be flat. It should be flat, 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 just like this. And then what we do is that we look for that cell just around this area. And then our stop loss is just above. And then our cell stop just below a pending order. And then what we look for is for the market to clearly break this area impulsively. And then we look for a scale in if you're into scale ins, just because this can also be like a first tight flag whereby it can also take you out and then come back to create some type of a larger flag. And then that is where you can enter on the third touch around this area for a scale in, if you are looking for a scale in 
or if you miss the entry, you can just look for another one around here. And then your stop loss is just above. And then let's say this one here is already in profit. Then you move your stop loss from this one to this area here, which means you locked this one. And then this one is also uh, is the only one that you are risking like 1% on it. And then you are targeting the lows of which is this area here. The scaling uh, could be like a 16% take profit. And then the first entry could be at around 17%. So that is it for today's video. And then I hope you took some value from this video. Then don't forget to click the like button, subscribe button, and the share button. And then I'll see you on another video.